Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another episode of Shy Boys Podcast. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about Billy Donovan considering switching up the starting lineup. And then I'm going to preview the Chicago Bulls versus the Brooklyn Nets tonight on TNT, 7.30 Eastern. But y'all know y'all got to hear that music, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shy Bulls Podcast with the Cognac Boys, and I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm holding it down for me and my co-host on another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. And you already know, Billy Donovan is considering changing the starting lineup. His words, and quit. I can't sit there and say it's one player. It's that group. It's a group of five. It's a group of five players. The Bulls started line up following Saturday's loss is what is when he said it. Uh, he said it's something we probably got to take a look at and evaluate and see. You would like to get a larger sample size. Now, looking into this, you know, I already know his three players ain't going nowhere. Demar ain't going nowhere. Zach ain't going nowhere. Pooch ain't going nowhere. That leaves Ayodo Sumo and Patrick Williams. Well, I tell you, You'd be a damn fool to take Pat, uh, to take Iodo Sumo out of the starting lineup. So that only leaves the Paul. Patrick Williams to be gone off of that. Let me dive into this comment from Vooch before we dive deeper into the, the Paul being eligible to get his butt placed on the bench. This came from Vooch. He said, and great. we just let teams play the way they want. Once we wake up, focus a little bit more, get physical, we get stops, but it has to happen from the beginning. Otherwise, it's going to be a struggle every single night. Now, Patrick Williams came into this season not being aggressive, not having, you know, not attacking the basket, not moving around, doing that cutting, diving, defense, the, uh, being active defensively. Hasn't been horrible defensively, but we've seen him be better. So it still leaves room for him to be eligible to be put on the bench. Because though we have seen increased amounts of aggressiveness from Patrick Williams, my man is still not getting a lot of minutes. I've seen several games with 15 minutes in the box score, 15 minutes in the box score. 15 minutes in the box score. The one replacement that I feel like Billy Donovan might as well just go ahead and do it, is go ahead and do, is just, just, just to insert Javante Green in the starting lineup, bro. Just insert him in there. My man is active from the moment he gets on the floor to the moment he gets off. You need that kind of energy to start off these games. It's no knock against Patrick Williams. I feel like Patrick Williams could have been something, could have been a starter, but I've always said since the offseason and going into this season, Patrick Williams can be more useful with the second unit. I believe he's more comfortable, more comfortable with the second unit. I believe he doesn't have the pressure of uh, not making so many mistakes with DeMar, with Zach, or Vooch, with the second unit. Now, if you want to keep one of those guys out there while he's operating, cool. But when you got all three of them out there with him, I think my man gets in his head, he gets passive, he doesn't want to shoot, he doesn't want to make mistakes, he wants to ensure that they get the ball, he wants to make sure that they get their shots. But there are moments and times throughout the game to where you're like, come on, Patrick Williams, that was an open shot. You could have shot the ball. And he did that in the clutch moment in the Sixers game this past Saturday to where my man's literally could have came off. I believe it was a double team to DeMar. Ball ended up in his hands. He could have came off, shot the ball. He didn't do that. And it was the same thing for Zach Levine too, but that's a whole nother topic. So go ahead, put Javante Green in there. I believe Javante Green is athletic as shit. 
He's acting defensively. He's going to cut hard. He going to potentially put somebody in the body bag by dumping on him, by dunking on him. And you know that he's, again, he's a solid defender. So you got to consider that. That will be my move. That will be my move. Insert Javante Green in there. See what happens. That was a reason, Billy Donovan, you started this man in three consecutive preseason games before the season started, and then you just switched him back to the bench. But at the same time, he's still being productive. Do you expect the man to go out there and put up 20-plus points? Absolutely not. But what the man can bring to a starting unit is all those things previously mentioned. Activity on defense, the ability to have speed and aggression in transition. Come on. You got to be able to add something else out of there. Because from what we've seen, Javante Green can be more productive without having the ball in his hands. And that's what you need because Patrick Williams appears, it seems like he needs the ball in his hands a little bit more often than what he's getting with the starting unit. So y'all go ahead, hit the comment box, let me know about that. Because if I'm making the changes, I want Javante Green to be in there. Yeah, they will be a little smaller, you know. But sometimes you got to you gotta take some and you got to give some. So what you're giving away and what you're going what, what to be able to take with this? Let's go. We got to see. So comment below. Let me know. What change would you would you like to see Billy Donovan make in the starting lineup? Because there is no reason to take, to take out Iodo Sumo. I say Patrick Williams is on the pup. Now, we preview this game tonight with the Brooklyn Nets, a team that's two and four and just had a beat. They got beaten by the Pacers first. And then last night just came back and beat the Pacers 116-109. Now, one thing that we have to mention is that Zach Levine, Ayodo Sumo, Kobe White are all questionable for tonight's game. But Andre Drummond is out, and that's a big, ah, that's a big miss because Brooklyn stinks when it comes to rebounding. Brooklyn stinks when it comes to rebounding, and Ben Simmons did not play in the Pacers game last night. So, yeah. Will he come play for your, play against the Chicago Bulls? I don't know. Now look, the Chicago Bulls, we beat the we we had some really really good games against the Brooklyn Nets last year. I believe it was just only one game to where the game got out of hand and they gave us that work. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, we played them well and we beat them. Even going down the stretch, we had DeMar DeRozan show people why he was the king of the fourth. Every and that that was from the beginning of the season when my man started to stream together some games and handle his business like that. And I don't see why any of these players that are listening is questionable can't be playing. And this is a game that you want Zach Levine to be playing. So Zach, get right. Let's go for real. You had you had a few days to think about it. Let's go for real. Let's go. So it is what it is. You, you have to – Brooklyn is a team that wants to outscore you. They're not going to stick much defense. So the Chicago Bulls, with the way that they're playing with the random offense, go ahead, get some slashes in there, move, get easy shots. But at first and foremost, the Chicago Bulls have to start this game off with energy. Energy. Don't get it twisted. Just because they can't defend don't mean that they don't have two of the best scorers in the league. KD can drop 40 in his sleep. Kyrie can drop 40 in his sleep. So the Bulls' intensity and defense has to be on point for this particular game. You have to start taking strides to fixing that huge problem that the Bulls have, which is starting slow. You will not come back and win against every team. It just happened against the Sixers. And now you ass on national TV. Do not embarrass yourself. Please do not embarrass yourself. Because as mentioned in the daily that I did yesterday, the Chicago Bulls have a problem. They have a problem by getting, getting off to slow starts and letting teams go off in the first quarter. Against the Heat, they let off 33. Against the Cavs, they let it go 34. 
against the Celtics, 39, against the Spurs, 36, and against the Sixers. This past Saturday, 37 points in the first quarter. You will not develop into a contending team if you contend if you continue to play like that. But essentially, I am going to say logically, depending on who plays, the Chicago Bulls win this game. I hope that Saturday was a wake up call. You got Joel and B calling himself Aaron Rodgers with his big crybaby ass. I don't care. You need to step up and you need to beat this team. Otherwise, you then drop into three and five and you make the road to contention that much harder. So y'all go ahead. Let me know how y'all feeling. Comment below. Drop your predictions below. Let me know who will win this game. Would it be Brooklyn or would it be the Chicago Bulls? Let me know. Let me know what some of the keys of the game is. Because one of my some, some of my keys of the game is they got to come out fast. You got to defend it. You got to put up points. It's really that damn simple. So comment below. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Drop your prediction below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. So every time we drop, you'll be the first one to know. If you want to leave a voicemail with any questions, comments, concerns whatsoever, hit up the number. 773 Two four two nine two one nine, and I continue to support us. Thank y'all very, very much. We throw our arms up for the certies, and I'm out. Catch y'all on the next. Cognac, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. gang, gang.